I said I'd do a quick bit of a video here just on the uh, charger that I'm putting together for the car. Uh, this is basically a design that is on the uh, electric car forum and is by a chap called, uh, called uh, Simon Rafferty and uh, this is just basically a copy of his circuit and I'm going to do a few uh, potential changes to it um, but this is just to give uh, credit work where it's due um, so what it is um, is that we have a, uh, a book converter here and uh, it's comprised of this 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 um, IGBT, um, a freewheel diode, a choke, and an output diode here, and there is also a smoothing cap here, and uh, we have a drive system here, which is this um, Atmega development board, and. Uh, as you can see it's got a little LCD and buttons on it and that so it's uh, practically a self-contained guy and uh, it brings out all of the the I.O. pins there to a, a DIL header so it's quite a handy uh, piece of kit um, so I just decided to build this up here on the bench uh, just purely to see um, just to see if if the parts that I have here, um, you know, actually actually do the trick. Um, so what we have at the minute is we have a bench power supply here that is just uh, set up to supply 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 uh, just under 32 volts DC there, and as you can see, it's drawing about 85 milli amps and. Uh, circuits is all turned on here and um, we have it set up here where I've got a little 40, 47 ohm uh, res, resistor here uh, just to act as a, as a kind of a dummy load uh, for the, the supply. I've got a meter here uh, just telling us at the minute, um, we have about 8.3 volts going out, and um, I have the scope set up here. That's basically showing us the voltage across the choke coil at the minute. Um, so it's pretty good. There's no uh, no kind of nasty spikes or um, anything else going on there. Now. Uh, this choke actually here is a uh, it's the HF transformer that came out of an old 160 amp in inverter welder and what I've done is I have the primary and uh, primary and secondary coils hooked up in series to give me the most inductance now I've checked this out and um, it's giving me about 660 um, micro henrys at the minute uh, which I'm not sure if that's actually in off for what I'm trying to do here but it's what I've got so I'm just gonna proceed on and see how the thing uh, plays out in the uh, in further um, testing so what we can see here is that uh, I can start from scratch again here now I'll just start it up from zero again so because I've only got a 30 volt input to this it takes a while for the PWM to get to a point where it can actually uh, get enough energy going into the circuit um, to get the inductor to start um, to start doing its thing so I'm in increasing the PWM at this stage now and we can see it start to uh, start to sort itself out 
And at this stage now we're actually starting to put some energy into the uh, uh, circuit and we got 2.2 volts out. You can still see that um, it's not a very clean kind of a kind of a switching uh, going on there so increase the point where we start to get a very well defined uh, set up which is about there and at that stage I'm getting about 3.7 volts um, um, output from the from the uh, circuit here with a 32 volt input so that kind of confirms uh, the kind of uh, general um, guideline for these kind of circuits that you can get between 10% and I think it's about 90% output from them. So at this stage we've about 10% out of what's going in and that's the point where we start to get um, a clean switching uh, um, going on here. So I can continue uh, just to increase the output there and you can see that the voltage across the inductor seems to increase at this stage probably because we're charging it and uh, we're now putting about 7 volts in the only thing that concerns me a tiny bit is I'm starting to get a knee here I'm not sure what's going on there let's see if we can uh, get a closer look at that Seems to be a bit of a knee in there, I'm not sure what that's about. I'm going to change now so that we go across the switch just to uh, see what that looks like. This is the voltage across the transistor. And you can see there's a little bit of a, a bit of a hanging going on there, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. So this is just, as I say, a basic first test um, of Simon's charger, and so far, uh, so good. So um, I'm going to build this up now into a proper uh, box, and um, we'll do some more tests on it. And as I said, I hope to improve it um, in some particular areas, but. Uh, Seems to be a very good, um, very good and very simple design, and it can be fully programmed by this um, LCD and keys here. And uh, yeah, I mean it certainly beats spending three grand on a, a Manzanita charger. So um, stay tuned, folks.